Hello YouTube, I want to bring to your attention this patent by Barbosa and Lale. And it's patent number W02013104042. The electromagnetic device for capturing electrons from the ground to generate electricity. So it's a very simple device, as you can see. And uh, I want to point out something very strange. Look at this ground connection. So you, you just have a wire wound around another copper wire with no uh, metal to metal connection. And um, this patent is uh, in the practical guide to free energy, um, page 213, section 330. So I have a schematic for it right here. And um, this is the device. So it, it, it resembles a bitory transformer. So I have two coils. One is 10 winds, the other one is only 3 winds. And um, the negative, uh, it's, it's supplied with the DC power source. And negative is our negative, and our positive is from the ground. And see, we're getting AC, 3.7 AC. And this is our. Um, Notice this. This is a four-gauge copper rod that I have wound with a nut with a copper wire on top of it. There's no metal-to-metal -metal connection anywhere, so the connection is done through induction. And um, so this ground connection is connected to my house ground. On my house ground up there, and. Um, and as you can see there's no metal to metal connection so this is a lo loose um, coupled wire see there's it's these uh, windings are very loose connected to each other and this is what uh, the ground the ground is connected to and the thick copper wire is just connected to the um, shorted out uh, coil. So there's two coils in here. One is powered with DC, and the two uh, two two loops is just shorted out with this thick thick wire in the middle, wound with the uh, with the ground. And we're getting voltage. See 3.7 uh, AC. But see what we ha what happens when we disconnect our ground connection. So okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're gonna disconnect the ground. As you can see, the voltage drops. Now it's 2.3 AC. Okay, now we're gonna connect the ground again. Okay, 3.7 AC. But this ground is not physically connected in terms of it's not metal to metal connection. So you're you're in actually inducing. So it's copper on top of copper. It's a thick copper wire wound with with more copper on top of it. I've never seen that before and I, I didn't imagine that this would work and um, I just came across this um, Barbosa patent and I was going to check it out and in their patent they have one uh, that looks just like this um, schematic and another schematic they have plus this plus and this plus connected through through a connector and so there's there will be like an extra connector right there and I couldn't really achieve anything with that setup so I'm showing you the strange effect that I got with um, using using the unpolarized version and uh, this patent is in, is in Brazilian but you can use Google Translate to actually translate it in, in English or whatever other language you happen to be working with and um, I found it rather curious as you can see so uh, the, cu the curious part for me is that if you disconnect this ground that's loosely connected the voltage goes down see instantly so um, to me this, 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 this effect alone warrants further investigation and um,
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm going to be playing around with this some more maybe combining this effect with Edley Scalman's uh, PMH see if I can draw voltage from the ground so I have this um, mesh over here this is just a, a aluminum s a screen mesh and in the Barbosa patent the um, Barbosa and Lale patent they recommend that you this ground connection would be um, some kind of conductive mesh buried uh, deep in the ground and I just I just have this conductive mesh it's a screen uh, aluminum screen uh, for your porch and I'm, I'm going to disconnect my house ground and connect it to this and we're going to see the voltage so right now it's, it's at 3.76 volts so I'm going to disconnect my house ground and I'm going to connect it to this mesh over here Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's 3.47 volts now. So um, obviously it's not really well grounded. It's just laying on top of my floor. So I would imagine if you, if I happen to bury this in the in the earth, it would be uh, grounded a lot better, and the voltage would spike. So anyway, I'll. Um, this patent is rather curious, it definitely piqued my interest and I hope you guys will investigate the uh, practical guide to free energy devices, a PDF and look at this patent and um, I'm going to continue 